Hey there. Um, this is how things happen when I do stuff like this. Um, I just watched a, sh a short, a short, um, it's, those are called reels. One of my dear soul friends, uh, Kanjoy in Thailand, put up. And uh, the show was Sophie uh, Negron, Sophia Negron. And she was wearing a hat, and she had uh, beautiful, very beautiful dark hair. She was um, a beautiful woman, and she was speaking her piece, what we call speaking her piece. She was communicating to us on the platform, right, on the reels. And she was explaining, uh, and, and there's one thing that she said, that's all she had to say. And, and she said, if you don't like my hat, if you don't like the way I do my nails, that's not my problem, that's your problem. Precisely correct. First thing that happens after that, now we're into rule-based functions. Now we're into AI functions. Now we're into metatronic spiral. That's how you know the difference between those that are and those that aren't. Robots. It's a rules. There's only one law. Love is the law. Now that you are what love is, you're free. Create whatever you want. Express yourself however you want. You are free to do that. There are no collars and leeches. So that's what I was mentioning before about on a couple other videos that I did when you're in a war game strategy with artificial intelligence about counter moves, strategies. It's just like a video that I watched earlier. Um, <laughs> I know I've shared this stuff before and it's not funny. But uh, this video was put on by Fox News out of Los Angeles. And, and what it was was a pursuit. Apparently, some lady in Compton, which is South Central Los Angeles, had stolen an L.A. County Sheriff's Department cruiser. I had a friend of mine do that, not L.A. County Sheriff's, but he stole a Santa Ana City Police Department uh, cruiser. And his dad was like the presiding Superior Court Judge of Orange County, California. <laughs> okay, so so here, here's the ridiculousness of this. Here you see the helicopter. You're 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 getting a live feed from inside the helicopter from Fox News, flying just like a drone, right above the the vehicle, the the, the sheriff's cruiser, with the lady that apparently stole it. I, we I didn't see her steal it, so I don't know. All I know is what they're saying, what they're communicating that somebody's in that vehicle going down. The freeway and in, in hot pursuit are all these other black and whites, black and whites, right? Duality, binary AI. And so it, it, it's like, you know that she's not going to be out, outrun the AI, right? As, as a matter of fact, it's, it's, uh, it's done actually for, for maximum impact on the endocrine system and everyone involved. Everyone involved who participated using their consciousness and what happened. Okay, so what it essentially means is what this lady didn't know, to the best of my knowledge, when she decided to jump into that cruiser, the AI knows exactly where she's going. Predictive modeling, it's already being graphed. Okay, and, and so the thing is, is that wherever you are, the AI knows exactly where you are through biometric scanning, and using a simple GIS Graphical user information, APIN number, personal identity number, which is your biometric scanning number. When you choose to come into a fallen spiritual system, it knows exactly who you are. Unless you're running a hyperdrive. <laughs> Tracking, right? An AI cannot track eternity. <laughs> right? And so the, the lady finally ends up someplace in Anaheim on a street that she finally just couldn't get out of. So they had basically just closed in like dogs, you know, all the dogs, dogs of war, dog tags, dogs of war. And, and so, OK, so now they're going to handcuff her. So, you know, she's freaking right. And you can imagine the neurological response of all the sheriffs that are chasing this lady down, doing their job. Following the rules, obeying the AI. The NPCs, the non-player characters, 
right? And and so you're seeing this game being played out. It's it's a check it's a checkmated war game. But we're seeing the last death throes of, uh, of everything that they were throwing at everybody, uh, knowing that you know the day was going to come when uh, God was going to have the last say. Uh, simply because there's only, um, you know, it simply reaches a point when when the math, the la- the math doesn't lie. The math will take care of it. The math is built in. You know. So their numbers don't work. That's the whole point about all their codes. It's a transfer of code transfers that represent their code transfer transfers, <clears throat> right? To disconnect you from the source connection that we have with our soul and spirit so that we don't know the difference between what we are and what we're not, which is called assimilation, which is a similar patterns of behavior, which is robotic behavior, automatons. Right, rule-based functions, following all the rules, which means I got to obey. This is what you say that I'm supposed to be, that I, how I'm supposed to present myself. Otherwise, you won't accept me for exactly the way that I'm presenting me. Move on. You know, all the mannequins <laughs> in the windows, window dressing. Now we're back to masqueraders. Now we're back to reading the terrain, reading the operator of the biotech. So what happens is when an enormous amount of living light comes in, uh, everything gets exposed and they can't help exposing themselves because now that people are experiencing a higher state of awareness, experiencing more light, which means more codes are activating to remember who they are, then they begin to realize, wow, I'm experiencing more love. I have a connection with God. I have a connection with the source from which it all began, which is what love is. So when you experience what love is, we know that. that it's, it's like rubber stamp that, right? And, and it's, that's why as, as a child, it's, it's like foreigner. You know, the, the, the very idea that, um, that living life and living spirit, an eternal living spirit, which is eternal fire, an eternal sun, we are the children, if you will, of the eternal sons. Eternal source from which it all began. Yeah. So when you experience that as a little child, then you can imagine what it's like to navigate through a fallen system, knowing the difference between a live one and a dead one. Right? Dead in spirit. No soul. Move on. So I I used, the way that I used to describe it and share it with friends when I was growing up as a teenager it's just ignore them because in in the larger scheme of things in a more off planet intergalactic universal way you you realize that there is a much larger picture right that's why uh, even my own father uh, would mention to me uh, pick your battles so you know that in a spiritual battle or a spiritual battlefield it's an energy war so you want to protect your shield right so that You can, in other words, you don't want to take your own self out of action by making bad choices. Okay? Right? So the idea is to make it out the other end of this. Right? So it's just, it's like ruffling your feathers and going, wow. Man. Right? That's why I, I... saw a couple of uh, blurbs that came up from friends of mine that talked about the spirits are tired. The energy, it it wears you out because they throw everything at you. Right? It's it's much like, uh, you know, a sport, because of the way that we describe how we can relate to experiences that we have, right? And then that becomes a way that we can communicate of how we can relate to to experiences that we've all had that we can relate to because we've experienced it, right? What a spoiled brat is, the way the word spoiled and what a spoiled brat is, right? If I can't have my way, right, I'm going to take my basketball and go home so you can't play basketball, which is like, it's my way or the highway. So that's an authoritarian or totalitarian type. Doesn't mean they don't have the right to do that. You want to take your basketball and go home, that's fine. We'll go find another basketball. 
right? So in other words, that's your free will. Go right ahead. But what it means is you end up isolating yourself from other children that don't want to play with you because you're no fun to play with. Right? <laughs> I love my childhood. I had a lot of fun. I'm still a child. That's an eternal spirit. Right? And um, so I, I saw... Also, t tonight, earlier, um, Kerry Cassidy was on there with a couple other pundits talking about the, essentially the same thing, how what's what's happening right now, which is how how moves are being made. Right. Um, you know, I, I watch from I, normally I don't watch anything from Fox News, except when I have I'm prompt, I'm self prompted to do so because there's some value in experiencing what they're going to communicate, why they're experiencing what they communicate at the moment that they're experiencing what they're communicating that I become aware of. And then how that relates to AI war game strategy uh, on the game board or what's called a war game theater. Right? And so that's when you can get into all the corporate military stuff, the super source program, uh, all the different seedings, all the history that the Voyager materials have put out all the seated races, all the different councils, right? Uh, and, and, and how all of this is, is now finally, as uh, Asha Diane put out, this is the final drama. Uh, years and years ago, I used to put it up on my Facebook page. It's real simple. It's called the final dance. You know, euphemistically or metaphorically called the last dance with the devil. Right? This is the, this is the last dance. Uh, another way to put it was this as far as you go. It's like saying, okay, free will is free will. Hey, you know, do as thou will, right? And then it's like, hell, how far you want to go? How, 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 how much can I get away with? Right? Before accountability day, having to count for what we do against what? Eternal unconditional love. God. The God that lives in all of us, which is what love is. Now back to mirrors. I'm not in, I'm not at war with my mirror. I'm not at war with what's in my mirror. I'm giving love to my mirror. My mirror is what love is. Right? So in other words, I'm not at war with my creator. I'm one with my creator. I am what love is. Therefore, I am one with my creator. Right? Yeah. That means I am what love is, eternal spirit, which is the eternal spirit of fire, which is that much love. That's an eternal sun. <laughs> gifting away love, gifting away love, gifting away love, gifting away love. A self-generating, powerful, cosmic level sun, man, that's eternal energy. The source from which it all began. Eternal, infinite, unconditional love. All right. So it's, it's going to be interesting here um, because uh, certainly some higher energies have come in here. And one of the ways that I naturally can tell how that is is higher radiation, obviously. So I usually get a little, some sharp pains like in my right uh, testicle. And so I, whenever I feel those, even though I take potassium iodide, um, and, and I've been exposed to a lot of radiation throughout my life because of all, just by the nature of who I am in spirit and soul. And um, so I, I, this morning when, when I woke up, I could tell uh, because I have biofilm, heavy metals, if you will. And then I have to kick out some, some mucus, not much because I run such a higher level of um, because what's happening is we're taking on higher and higher levels of, of radiation, right? So we're adjusting to those higher levels of radiation with what's coming through the sun. So there was another, I guess it was an M-class flare today, this morning, some, some, sometime over the last 30 some odd hours. But I, what, what happens is I, I experience it. I experience what's happening electromagnetically because obviously we're breathing that energy in, right? And if there's any real significant changes happening over the course between night and day, and there are changes here on this island between night and day, and, and the way that I, I'm able to measure that by what I experience, 
uh, is going to be any pain that I have down on my right side there in my groin area and any speedum that I got to kick up, right? And then how deep the breath work that I do every day to clear it. Like I did this afternoon, I was able to get really good deep breaths with the sun, even though it was overcast, but I'm able to clear it. So I got, I got rid of it. So I'm, that's really you're activating the higher currents of transmuting um, and, and cleansing yourself. You're purifying, you know, you're running higher stuff. You're normally used to running higher stuff. I mean, of course, that's indicative of who you are, the kind of energy that you normally love to resonate at. Right. Um, I love, uh, you know, I love fire, the spirit of being the spirit of fire. So I, um, I love to be with very powerful energy, obviously. Right. Uh, the most powerful there is, which is the most powerful spirit there is, which is the most powerful magic there is, which is the most powerful eternal love. Right. And, uh, so when your frame of references, references experiencing that as a child, and I'm still experiencing that now. So you realize as I was a child growing up is, um, uh, experiencing the success that we were going to, you know, how, how we were, how everybody that was involved and participated in, 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 and how this was all going to unfold sort of the time frames in which I can like place little markers of how successful we are at what we're doing while we're here and then experiencing the changes that are taking place by all the teams that are doing the work that we're doing as a result of why we're experiencing what we're experiencing now. Okay. Which is the end of the drama. Right. And, uh, so, uh, this is, this is like the last death throes of the Titanic, you know, uh, but it's, uh, it is what it is, you know? So I, I just wanted to, to share some things because of the, uh, the, the, ch the changes, you know, that are taking place, uh, that are speeding up. I was prompted, Hey, go see what Lisa Renee has to say. And she put something up, which is pretty much the same thing I experience because of what I know, because of what I become aware of that I share with all of you. You can tell <laughs> when I'm doing that all the time, the breath of living spirit. It's great to get, it's really great to work with the sun and do a lot of breath work and allowing all the, all the stuff that's coming in and just, yeah, I'll take all of it. Everything you're giving me, I'll take all of it. Right. Yeah. 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 It's like returning home. It's like old home week, you know, celebrating life with love. That's what we do. Celebrate life with love. So anyway, have a good night. I love y'all. Be good yourselves.